There have been plenty of debates on whether or not Shroud and Ninja's moves to Mixer were worth it or not, and of course, we've talked about it here plenty on the channel, but one of Twitch's current biggest streamers, XQC, finally weighed in on himself. He was playing Warzone when someone asked him his thoughts about the Mixer exclusivity deals, and he brings up some pretty good points as to why Twitch would have been Shroud's best move. Uh, yeah, it makes the industry go forward for everybody, that these things happen, but at the same time, it um, there's a crazy amount of loss potential in uh, raw power that um, some good things can have in the streaming sphere. Trying to kill me. A lot of muscle is lost when that happens, which is very bad for everybody. A lot of muscle is lost? What do you mean? Um, I'll give you a good example. I mean, just to look at Valorant, right? Yeah, it got a lot of views. It, it, it crazy skyrocketed, right? But um, let's say Shroud would have probably been like 800 candy or something like that, or 700 candy, probably, maybe even more. Right. Even Tarkov, when right. Tarkov first yeah, when Tarkov was rolling, he, was, he yeah. would have been like a 700 candy, 100%. Because he was already organically playing it, you know? Right. Yeah. Every time XQC a game comes out, XQC I can get XQC more exposure XQC and more XQC eyes XQC and more whatever. XQC. And more like a um, combined force, whatever. You combine all those over time, and in those one or two years, damage done in the industry or whatever, is way bigger than whatever they paid him, times 10. Not that much of the industry, but I mean, like, I, this, I, I misworded it. That sounds really entitled. Um, like, um, like, the lost potential is Ninja's worth way more than what they paid him. Right? Imagine if Shroud was playing Tarkov on Twitch like they said, especially since he was already playing it organically like they mentioned, but he would have had an insane amount of viewers, and FPS is really prevalent right now, and obviously Shroud really tends to dominate in those fields. So he's always got potential for tons of viewers, but XQC feels like it was a huge missed opportunity. And of course, a lot of us would agree that he would be making way more money over at Twitch. And even with Valorant, like if Shroud was streaming on Twitch with drops enabled back when Valorant's beta first came out and everyone was starting to watch it, those would have been some insane numbers. And I think I typically saw Tim the Tapman who was kind of leading the pack. He had like 100,000 viewers. He had typically over 100,000 viewers, I should say. And I'm sure if Shroud was streaming on Twitch, he probably would have stolen a pretty decent chunk of those and then some. And just like XQC said, there was just so much lost potential. It would have been so crazy to see this, but XQC has more to say. Shroud, Shroud for FPS and as a streamer overall, dude, it's a crazy amount of muscle. That's it's insane how much it carry, how much weight it carries. XQCL An insane amount of, of, of weight. And, right? Almost like a fucking force of nature. Right? And having on Mixer, is that all of his followers, all of his, all of his, uh, fans, whatever, I almost have no potential. What I mean is that all those combined releases and crazy events and, and crazy whatever did. Just it's exponential growth, a Pepe, QC, right? L. That is completely lost. Yeah. And that potential is worth like a, a ridiculous amount of millions of dollars or whatever. But that's way, 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 way more. And XQC brings up a very good point because he says that Shroud is really important to the FPS genre and he's basically a force of nature because he has a lot of influence on Twitch. And him leaving Twitch is bad for everybody because of how much influence he has. Especially as streaming now is becoming more and more popular. You know, no one's working, or at least... Not a lot of people are working, everyone's sitting inside on their computers. So I feel like right now would have been the golden age for his streams. But imagine the day that Shroud returns to Twitch, if and when that ever does happen, because there would be so much hype behind it, and I feel like a lot of regular Twitch viewers that don't feel like going on Mixer would really appreciate it, and are probably really looking forward to his return, because I am not a Mixer user myself. I would say that I watch Shroud a lot less than I used to because of it, and I know that if he ever does come back to Twitch, I'm gonna be right there from, from day zero, from day one, day zero. I'm gonna be right there. Will you guys be too? Let me know how you guys feel about it. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all very soon. So take it easy. Have a wonderful day and be safe, guys. Be safe. I'll see you guys next time.